Hey everyone, welcome back to Crash Landing Episode 6, Between Episodes. Uh, pretty much just been working on gathering leaves, making dirt, using some leaves for the uh, drinking water in our crucible as well. Uh, pretty much only using the dirt though for the sieve and going through the process of getting a rubber tree seed. So this is like a 2% chance I believe of getting with dirt and a sieve. So yep, 2% chance. And I've also got a 2% chance of getting that tomato seed, which I finally got one of those as well. So once I got those two, I was kind of happy and just kind of stopped using dirt in the seed. So uh, the rest of the dirt I've been using on kind of, you know, setting up other farms. So I got a sugarcane farm going, and then I'm going to start using the rest of the dirt, making and expanding a bigger farm for food. Uh, I've also went ahead and made a few more portable tanks for extra water storage, as you guys can see here. Uh, also in this chest, uh, this is the extra engine that was destroyed off the side of the shuttle and I went ahead and picked all of that up, placed that in this iron chest right here. Uh, probably going to use that somewhere else later on, but for now I'm just going to store it there. I've also went ahead and switched out the item ducts that I used on top of the uh, oak barrels here and switched it out with the transfer node. I figure if I want I can actually apply some upgrades in here to make this go a little bit faster if I want. But for now, this is actually working a little bit better, I think. So this is the setup that I'm going with. I'm leaving the item ducks on the bottom, though, because those are fine. Uh, but I think today it's finally time to tackle or multiplication. I've uh, been kind of holding off on this just because of uh, the way this sounded. So uh, unfortunately, the clay you make from dust is unsuitable for making the ground you need for smeltery bricks. It looks like you will need to go scavenging on those city ruins that we saw on the way down to this planet. So, apparently, there's a old abandoned city out off in the distance. And earlier on, I did see the road out there, and a lot of you guys have been saying that there is a, uh, a city that uh, needs to be, you know, looked through and all that good stuff down at the end of that road there. So, uh, I've also gotten word from you guys that it's, it's a little dangerous, it sounds. So I want to make sure I get a little bit prepared for that as well. So we're going to get, uh, you know, a whole bunch of stuff set up real quick. And then we're going to make our way out to that old abandoned city. So earlier on, I did get these obsidian arrowheads. I think I might try to make... I might try to make a uh, tinker's bow and arrow. The sun is setting. I want to make sure I sleep before... Uh, the sun sets too far past the horizon, but so moms don't start spawning everywhere. Um, <laughs> I've kind of let my guard down quite a bit just because I haven't really been letting any mobs spawn, period. Uh, I've just been making sure to sleep through the night as soon as I possibly can. That way I don't have to deal with them. And, uh, you know, the threat of dying, of course. So, yeah, that threat's going to probably be uh, in full effect today, though. <laughs> from what it sounds in that old abandoned city. So uh, we do have a dagger, which isn't, you know, the best thing in the world, but eh, it'll do, I guess, for a melee weapon a little bit. Uh, we do have a little bit of needle gun ammo, so I want to make sure I bring that. Let's see, let's grab our needle gun too. Does this have anything in it? No, it's empty. All right. Now, needle gun ammo is actually not too bad to make. We just need... Uh, some arrows and gunpowder, because we already got the needle gun magazines. So if I can get me some arrows made up, which I have a few feathers, and a few arrows. I don't know if I want to save the arrows for fletchings for Tinker's arrows, or if I want to use it for needle gun ammo. Alright, we'll hold off on that on, for a minute. There are a few quests I want to try to finish off real quick, or actually one. And I think it's... is it this one? No, 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 it's under pressure. Uh, if we open this up, this is simple. Just go smelt some ore into iron ingots, which we need eight. So let me do that real quick. I actually already have cooked up a few in the furnace there, and I have a few extra right there. i just hold on to them all real quick. If we hit manual detect, all right, step two. Next, you will need some TNT. You should have plenty of gunpowder by now. Are you sure about that? I've been sleeping. <laughs> been sleeping since then and you can hammer cobblestone into gravel and then you can hammer that to get sand so all right I don't mind doing that real quick like actually hold on let's do that then that see we do have a little bit of gunpowder so we'll just do maybe like 
two um, two pieces of TNT, I think, to start off with. And that should be the right number. Alright, so as far as, like, you know, gearing up and going towards the city, uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get maybe eight water bottles, maybe... I might just take one of these portable tanks, too. Maybe take two of them or something like that. And uh, that way I have a, a good supply of water there. Of course, I'll have my sleeping bag, so I shouldn't have to worry too much about uh, it turning nighttime. But I think I just need to worry about, right now, offense and defense. Uh, defense, probably... I don't know what I'm going to do for that just yet. All right, so we got two TNT. We do need to make sure to light this somehow. We can use a lever. Good old-fashioned lever. All right, so what did it say to do again? Next up. Uh, uh, not that your immediate needs are taken care of, but it's time to start. Oh, I already got the TNT. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted TNT. All right, so this is the third step. I suggest going a little ways from your base for this one. Dig a hole. Drop the iron in it, place TNT next to the iron, ignite the TNT, and stand back. When the smoke clears, you should see that you have some compressed iron. So, I guess we just need one. Alright, that's fine. Actually. Don't we have, um, applied energistics? I wonder if the tiny TNT would work. I'm a little curious. I want to find out real quick. I got plenty of quartz in here. In fact, we got plenty of gunpowder in there, too. Let's, let's see if the tiny TNT works. <laughs> It'd be hilarious if this does. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Actually, hold on. Let's try to put this as like in the block as possible. Let's see if that works. No, that actually destroyed that. Okay. I'm guessing there's probably a chance that it's going to destroy some of the iron anyway. We'll just uh, do it this way. And of course I blew up my lever because I broke it. <laughs> Derp it. That's my fault. And I don't have another lever, do I? Yes, I do. I need to hurry up and get this done, Bentley. Come on. We're wasting daylight. All right, come on, let's get this quest finished. Go! Okay, that was a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. Of course, this is dust. All right, I'll have to clean this up later. Oh, Lord. I'll probably just use cobblestone underneath and then just put a layer of dust on top of it. Uh, all right, good. We got two compressed iron from that. Hopefully, I didn't waste too much iron. Nice. All right, so claim reward. And that gives us 16 compressed iron. And the next is heating up. I'll start working on that a little bit later on. But I just saw that quest. I thought it was pretty easy. I thought it was just going to be iron. Uh, but it was a little bit more than that, so... We got it finished anyway. Alright, so let's put that away. Also, I got stone here. Wait. Ooh, out of water. Uh, I got some stones here that I used uh, from... The... Uh, it's just two, three, four. From uh, sieving dirt. And I'm pretty sure... I think... I'm not 100% sure, but I'm fairly sure... That we can use that to maybe throw up mobs... And, uh, uh, you know, take, have them take some damage from that. So, hopefully that works. If not, we can just use it to knock them back, if anything. So, that's another form of possible offense to keep mobs away from us. Uh, eating once. All right, yeah, cool. I'm a little hungry. I'm going to eat some baked potatoes. All right, so we do want to make sure we bring a fair amount of food as well. So, let's see. We got... I did make some toast from flour, because we can use the uh, potatoes to make flour. Let's see, where's it at? So if you use more on pestle with the potato, you get flour. Then we can use the flour to make the dough, which is just, you know, water, which I use the fresh water. And some salt to make the dough, and then the dough makes bread, of course. And then you can cook that again to make some toast. So a couple different methods of food. So we'll do that. I'll take the fruit salad, because the fruit salad's composed of uh, a couple different fruits. So we'll do that. And I think, hold on, what is it? It's cutting board and mixing bowls. If we do this, 
And it can be the same fruit as well. There we go, fruit salad. All right, so I just wanna make sure I got a, a couple different types of food. I don't know how long I'm gonna be out there. I imagine I'm probably just gonna make a quick trip and see if I can find that. Once I find that, I'm gonna try to get back here as soon as I can. All right, so we do have our sink clones good. Let's go ahead, let's see, we got a regular bow. I wonder if the regular bow would fire the Tinker's arrows. Tool rod. You know what, I don't really need tool rod banner, I could just use some sticks, I imagine. And then as far as, let's see. I think I might be able to make a fletching pattern and use leaves for fletchings, I think. I don't know if that's disabled or not. Where's the fletching pattern? Did I pass it? There's the bowstring. Did I seriously pass it? I thought it was like um, a different texture, like normal texture. Maybe they actually have it textured finally. There it is. Yeah, that's why I thought they did texture it. <laughs> All right, uh, and I need shears. I hate doing this because I'm, it's kind of the reason why I wanted to go and get this uh, smeltery up and running, because I didn't want to keep making, you know, and using my iron up for shears, but I already got some iron made up anyway, so that'd be all right. So I don't want to do all of these just yet. Just do a few of them. There we go. That'd be fine. All right, and I'm just going to toss... Actually, hold on. Let me just toss a handful in the crucible over here. That way we can get some more water up and running. I imagine maybe just... We'll just hold on to eight for now. We'll put the rest in the crucible for water. It's a shame we couldn't put a whole bunch of other stuff in that crucible for water. That would be kind of cool. All right, oak leaves. Oh, nice. Leaf fletching. All right. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. Okay, it's got stone bound on it. All right, that's why it's red. Probably. All right, so we'll grab eight of those. And if we come over here, we should be able to click on this, use the obsidian arrowhead, a stick, and leaf fletching, and we can make ourselves some arrows. Nice, those don't look too bad. That was a weird noise. <laughs> All right, so 32 arrows. Those aren't horrible. Oh, ooh, 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 get my dagger back. And then I'll grab my bow. Let's see if this works. All right, nope. All right, so we're going to make a bow, and I'm just going to make a standard one. So let's see, let's do that. And I should be able to use just sticks for now. I'm just gonna use regular wood for this. I am pretty sure I'm gonna need bowstring. Where's it at? There it is. Material cost three. Boom, there we go, bowstring. And let's make a bow. So you, two sticks, and we're just going to make a regular old short bow. So we should be able to go ahead and start firing arrows with this. Perfect. Nice. That works for me. And the awesome thing is, is we can actually pick our arrows up again. So that'll be a nice little plus side of that. Ooh, sleep. Mobs don't spawn. Mobs don't spawn. Crossing fingers don't spawn. Please don't spawn. Phew. Thank you. Ha <laughs> ha. Still beat him to the punch. Awesome, so looking pretty good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start grabbing a few things. I wanna make sure I bring wood with me, for one. So we got this, our needle gun. Let's go ahead and load up those 12 shots in there. I really don't need the stone hammers. I don't need the watering can. Uh, building blocks might be kind of nice to have. Let's put the shears away for now. Put the mattock away. Might need a tool for a shovel. As far as defense is concerned, I really don't know how well, like, wooden armor is going to work for me. So, you know what? I think we're just going to hope uh, that we can keep them away with our offense. Uh, so, that's, that's the plan here. All right. Let's grab a tank or two of water. We'll grab the ones off the bottom here. There we go. And I'll go ahead and fill up 
One, two, three, four. Go ahead and use a couple of these to fill up my camel pack now. And just for on the road, then we'll have another four. There we go. All right, so we got our bow ready to go. A little bit of food, and let's start making our journey out to this abandoned city and see what's uh, sitting and waiting out there for us. So I'm just going to make a nice leisure, leisurely walk, making our way towards this road, kind of uh, at an angle. That way we don't, like, waste time or anything. Hopefully it's not too far away. All right, so maybe I should... So the hatchet's also nice, because that's going to... Skill level legend. Oh, wow, I've never seen that. <laughs> um, I've always seen expert, like I think it was in um, Magic Farm 2. Let's put that there. So boom, needle gun. Short bow. Crescent hammer. I don't know if I'm going to need a crescent hammer or not. Imagine maybe a pickaxe. Got the dagger. Hatchet. Food. All right. Yeah. Yeah, we should be good. All right. Where's the sun at? So it's still pretty much early morning. I do have render distance set up on far, so I should be... Okay, let's look at my mini-map. So I should be able to see as soon as it starts making its way into distance. I'm actually a little nervous. <laughs> You guys have got me a little worried. Is that thing? Is that road turning? Looks like there might be turning. Oh, oh, there it is. Is that it? That, yep, that's it. That's got to be it. <laughs> what am I saying? Of course, that's it. Oh wow, that's a fairly large. They want me to scavenge this. That's a fairly large city. All right, and it. It looks like most of the buildings are like fairly like open and stuff, so hopefully we shouldn't have to worry about mobs too much, I'm guessing. Alright, I'm gonna kind of start looking over this way a little bit. Cause we got like roads coming out this way and stuff. Wow, this is actually a fairly decently sized place. Hold on, let me zoom out of my map. Yeah, that's a fairly large area. Alright, we'll zoom in one more. Let's kind of start taking a look here. Well, I don't like the way that looks. There's already stuff on the ground. What is that? Is that dye? Dandelion yellow, nice. Oh, yep, I see spawners. I see you. Fred trying to sneak up on us and stuff. How do we go? Oh, elevators, nice. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna have to be careful. What? Where? Is he above me? Is he friendly? All right, we're gonna go up and look. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! 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 Okay. Yeah, he's 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 definitely not friendly. That's for sure. Um, backing away. I didn't even hit the guy. Holy jeez. Um, all right, I'm gonna have to swap out food a little bit. All right, yeah. So I'm a little, little low on uh, health at the moment. We're gonna just kind of search maybe a couple bottom levels <laughs> for the time being. Uh, kind of flew out the building there. That was. Oh, I see the little. I see you up there, you little snot. I wonder if I could hit him from here. What? Why was I able to hear that so well? <laughs> Let's see if I can hit him again. Come on, buddy. Why don't you come down here? Make make the jump. I made it. I lived. Why don't you do it? Scaredy cat. <laughs> Says the guy that doesn't want to go up there and fight him. What? No, I'm cool. Thank. Oh, wait, there's a chest right there. What? Is there anything good? Huh? Iron! Dude, that's a lot of iron. I'm leaving. Whoa. Holy s Oh, I see the blaze. Oh, 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 I'm running. I'm running. Yeah. Holy crap, this place is dangerous. 
All right, all right. Let's 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 kind of chill away from the places that, that seem kind of mean right now. My health still still making its way up at the moment. Is there another spawner over there? There's another spawner over there. I'm breaking it. I don't care. Breaking it. Don't care. Elevator. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Hello? Hello? Anything? I don't like the burning sounds. Don't. Where? What? It's above me? I think it's above me. Oh, jeez, man. This place is dangerous. All right, yeah, this this might take take a little bit of time. Definitely might take a little... Oh, whoa, 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 guy, guy, chill out, fella. What? Stop making noises like that. I don't like that. There's blazes in there. Stupid blazes. I see a chest. Ooh, no! Dagger, come back! I'm sorry! Oh gosh, I do not want to get hit by a blaze right now. Ooh, 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 jump away. Stupid, uh, more? No! Jeez! Stupid! Uh, okay, this is get. I don't, I... Uh, come on. Come on, there's gotta be a place around here that's got some, some easier stuff than this like this is just oh hey that's a nice lamp what no where are you i heard you you and your stupid face why are there so many things oh oh wait i see i see stuff oh i hate skeletons i hate skeletons skeletons are stupid get out of here skeletons is there anything in here like lower level in here I don't think I really want to go up to the top. Oh, I see. That's a big zombie pigman. That's a big fella. Okay. Okay. Oh, breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe in. What? I see you. Creeper? That's definitely not going to be fun. Um. Okay, son. Doing all right at the moment. What? No! No! Blazes! No! Jeez! Get no! You stay away from me, fella! Stay! Away! Oh, man, I gotta get some more needle gun ammo. What? No! Bad! Bad pigmen! Oh, crud. Bows! Don't fail me! Oh, no! I don't want you anywhere close to me, fella! Go away! How much health do you have? Oh. <sighs> I don't like this. So, I've pretty much been here and accomplished what? <laughs> Except for running away? Uh, losing a lot of needle gun ammo, pretty much. Okay, okay. Sun is about to set. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, you stay away. You can stay your stupid face. Give me that back. I gotta quit doing that. That looked like some pretty decent stuff in here. Oh man, come on. I don't have inventory for this right now. Alright, sun's about to set. Oh wait, is this an elevator from Pneumatic Craft? Really? Well, there's some pretty decent stuff in here. Um, another thing I've found out is if you take the sleeping bag, put it in your hand like this, and just hold right click, uh, as soon as you're able to, it should pop you in and uh, allow you to sleep through the night, so, I'm gonna try, come on, oh, no, where did you come from, you stupid face, no, sleep, why can't I sleep, 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 come on, it's gotta be time to sleep, ah, oh, sweet, there's skeleton in here. There's skeleton in here, isn't there? All right, put that back on. Dude, I really want to pick this stuff up. All right, I'm going to have to come back for this later because inventory getting kind of full at the moment. I mean, I could pick up a few things, but I got to save room for for the smelter I'm supposed to find. Which are you serious? It's right. 
Right here. Nice. Okay. Um, I guess. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here, spiders. So zombies. Fred. I hear you. Okay, I'm. Shut up. What? No, not Pikmin. Blue my axe head. Heck yeah, buddy. Seared bricks. Those are nice. Get away. Oh crap. Oh crap. That one shoots arrows. Alright, I did bring dust, so this is a good thing. You can't get in there. Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Fred! Jeez, man! Oh crap, there's pigmen over there. Oh crap. Woo! Woo! Ha! Ah, am I sealed in here for the moment? I don't trust it. Stupid everything. I hate everything. Okay, give give me this stuff. I'm getting getting and going. What? Oh man. I don't like you. You're ugly. What? I don't like this one bit. So it's like as soon as I get done with this, I gotta get and go. Give me all this stuff. Just, just, just. Too many things. Drop stuff unnecessary. Alright, can't eat. Actually, I wonder. I'm gonna try that. Bread. Give me that. Put that back there. What? Oh god, you're huge. Wonder, hey, you like stones? You stupid face. I gotta drop stuff. I gotta drop stuff. I might have to drop water bottles. I might have to drop water bottles. No, lever. Lever's good. Dust, good. There's a basin. What else can I drop? Mm. Those guys out there ain't helping me. I think I've already picked up some of these. I, I, I feel like I'm fairly safe right here. Smooth black stone. See, as soon as I get out of here, I'm like running. I gotta find one more thing to drop. All right, water bottle. Is there anything in there that I, okay. Am I like clear out this way? You know, I don't like you. Come here, stupid face. Yeah, 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 all you stupid pigment faces. Come here, where are you? Hey, hey, come over here. Oh crap, they're shooting stuff at me. Stop doing that. Jeez, oh, they're... Yeah, you can't, you can't hit me all the way in there, can you? Oh, did you fall in a hole, buddy? Oh, nice, we got luck on it. That luck's helpful. Alright, I am... I'm making a run for it, guys. I'm going. Okay, Serpentine, just just get, go, and gone. That's the plan. There's so many big men over there. Oh, no, chest. And yeah, just take a quick little peek in there, shall we? I got a little beef jerky. Ooh, needle gun ammo. Uh, uh, ooh, water bottle. Not as important. All right, I'm leaving. I got what I needed for the quest, I think. Make sure. Double check. Check. Quest. Quest. Check. Go. Quickly. Quickly. See your bricks? Gonna have to look into that. I, I I don't know, but I think I can go ahead and get a smeltery up and running at least. Um, Alright, I'm gonna make my way back to base. <laughs> that is nuts, guys. Oh, man. That place is crazy. I'm gonna have to figure out what I'm gonna have to do, like, armor-wise, I guess. I might have to risk the biscuit and make myself some iron armor at some point. I know it's gonna, like, make my heat level go up and stuff like that, but I might need the protection in order to go through there. Plus, I might need a very decent weapon in order to um, start working through that place, you know, mowing those guys down and whatnot, so. <sighs> okay, I'm just, 
I'm a little, a little happy I got, uh, at least got some of a smeltery that I think should be able to work. So we've got cracked seared bricks should be able to work for, yeah, smeltery structure block. So we got the tank for the lava, the drain to pour things out, the controller, and I got a faucet back at base. So we should be good to make a pretty much uh, a smeltery and get it up and running. Uh, need to definitely get a crucible as well. So another crucible so I can start making lava to uh, provide, uh, you know, heat to melt down all of our uh, metals and stuff. I'm just, I'm still on like this. <laughs> I, like, I guess, I don't know if I want to, yeah, I want to call it, a, I, get, I just, everything, guys. It's, it's everything. <laughs> that place is crazy. It's just, it's just too much. Uh, I might look at maybe finding another way of getting back and forth eventually, because I'm sure there's quite a few things in there. Um, I think something I might look at doing soon as well, since I have, uh, or I will have a smeltery up and running, which I'm going to set up here in just a minute. And I think we'll set it up like right. I think for, uh, and I'm probably going to move it, but for now, just to kind of get it up and running. I think I'm just going to set it up like right here. So we're going to pretty much set it up like it was set up over there. Crank bricks there. And then I need a drain, which I'll put on this side. The last brick there. Tank. Controller, which I'll just put in the center. Wait, wasn't there like a... um? Oh, phew. Seared glass. I was going to say, wasn't there like seared glass and stuff? Oh, there we go. Nice. Smeltery is working. Perfect. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure I already got a casting table, but now we got two, so that's all right. For now, I'm going to make a little shortcut to get in and out. Let's put that back on the hot bar so I can see what time it is. And, yep, yeah, there we go. Seared faucet. Oh, nice. Yes, 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 yes. Look. Even got some seared bricks left, so the last thing I needed was uh, a regular seared brick. So, we'll use these seared bricks that we got from a quest earlier on. Nice. Put that back on the shelf, because I don't need that. And perfect. Alright, so we need a claim reward. I'm pretty sure I can still make clay, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick it anyway. That gives us eight more seared bricks. Nice. Which I should be able to start expanding this another layer. I think it takes, what, 12? I'm just going to go ahead and put them on there anyway. There we go. So we need, like, another three more bricks just to get another layer going. There's our faucet. So we should be able to start pouring things out. Ready to go. So that's cool, too. we got a Lumite X head. So I might be able to retire this guy. Wow. That's awesome. All right, let's take a look in here. And next quest would be triple play. So, uh, gonna have to read up on this a little bit. So we're gonna need the high oven. Now I've made one of these before and used it. Those are awesome. Uh, but I want to read up on that actual quest a little bit. So that, that, that was a little productive. That was definitely gonna have to go back. Definitely gonna have to go back. So I think what I'm gonna be doing is, I think next episode I'll pick up and we'll start working on getting lava production up and running. Uh, maybe setting it up. Well, I might clean this up between episodes. <laughs> that might be it. But um, uh, getting lava production up and running and resources, uh, you know, going through the smeltery. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my my mishaps today. <laughs> uh, if you guys would rate the video, I'd really appreciate that. And until next time, we'll see you guys then. Goodbye.